So I'm about to test these three power stations out. I got a pretty good little test I'm gonna do this morning. I have a little tiller and a chipper. So we're gonna see if it can run them, if they can run them individually, and then we'll see if they can run them together. So I know the, the anchor and the Blue Eddy will both put out 20 amps max, and the Dewalt will put out 15 amps. And I actually believe these both pull 15 amps. But we're gonna see, we're gonna hook them up, and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if they can run it. So uh, only issue with the, the Dewalt is there's only one plug. There's only that one plug there, so I'm gonna have to use a uh, surge protector. And the only surge protector I have is listed for 15 amps also, so we're gonna find out though. I know I, I have actually run that tiller before with the Dewalt for a little while, but I've never tried to do the tiller with the uh, chipper at the same time, and I haven't run that tiller with any of the uh, the anchor or the blue eddy. So we're about to plug it in and we're gonna try it out. We may start with the Dewalt. So let's get that hooked up. All right, so we got the chipper plugged into the Dewalt. I have the power on the Dewalt ready to go. And let's see if we can get this chipper on. <laughs> try this chipper with that tiller on the Dewalt. So let me hook that up and we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, I got the little electric tiller hooked up to the Dewalt. As you can see, I got them both plugged in here. And the problem with that surge protector is it's limited to uh, 15 amps, but so is the Dewalt. So we're gonna see what happens. First, I'm gonna show you the Dewalt should run this tiller without that chipper on. And we're gonna try it out, make sure it works. up too much dust and it worked as you can see so now we're gonna turn the chipper on we're gonna see what happens now Pretty impressive i'm surprised it did it but uh i'm gonna throw some sticks in here because i didn't have any sticks i don't know if it's gonna pull more power when it's chopping stuff up or not i'm assuming it will but as you can see so far so good we can get a couple chips and we're gonna retry it on a couple of sticks yeah we have a stick in here we're gonna start chopping it up and let's see if we can get this one video off short a little bit but it, it did them both it chopped all those sticks up and ran that tiller at the same time and that was the dewalt no problem so i'm i'm assuming now that the dewalt did it these other two is going to do it without any problems as well um because like i said you can see the dewalt has 15 amps out and the other two are rated at 20 amps out so uh i'm about to hook up one of the other ones and we're going to try the same test dewalt gets a thumbs up for that surprised it did it but it did it okay i have them both plugged into the anchor 767 and we're going to try to turn on the chipper okay, so the anchor 767 did the 
stripper by itself with no problems. We're about to try them both out. We're gonna try the chipper and the chiller out with the Anchor 767. So we're gonna put that stick in there, turn this on. All right, we got a shutdown, so let's see what happens over here. It's shut down on us. I think your 767 shut down. We're gonna turn it back on. Probably gotta hit the back. Reset. Okay, got it back on now. Let's try again. Right. Shut down. Shut down again. So it's not gonna run them both at the same time. I'm assuming it'll run one, but not both of them. So we're gonna try to turn it back on. Back to the AC side. Got it back on. Well, no, we don't. Okay, it's on now. Let's see if we can run just the chiller with it. We can run one or the other with the Anchor 767, but it's not gonna run them both at the same time. Not gonna do it. I tried it twice, didn't do it. And like I say, both of these are rated at 15 amps. So let's assume they both pull in 15 amps, that'd be 30 amps. And the Anchor 767 is only rated at 20 amps. So it shouldn't have run it. The Dewalt, now that was rated at 15 amps and it ran it. So, but I do know the Dewalt has the 3800 surge on it 3800 watts of surge so we're gonna give the blue eddy a try and we're gonna see what it does the uh blue eddy ac 200 max if we can get here out the way and get that ball all right so let's give it a try now okay so i have them both plugged into the uh, blue eddy ac 200 max we're about to try the chipper alone so let's see what it does Try the tiller alone. Let's see what it does. No problem there. So let's combine the two. Let's see if this blue eddy can do it. Get a couple of sticks. Well, get a longer stick. Got a longer stick here. second the uh, chipper turned off when we was doing it as soon as i turned that chiller on it worked but this chipper turned off i turned it right back on and, it's, and it ran them both so i don't know if the ac 200 max was killing power to the chipper on that one outlet or it was the chipper itself so 
And we're gonna try, I'm gonna get another stick and we're gonna try it again. Hold on one set chips in there. We're gonna try the blue eddy one more time. <laughs> problem but once again the chipper has turned off i can get back over here and turn it back on okay. having trouble chopping the sticks up and running the tiller at the same time and I'm assuming that's what's happening it's just not enough power to do both of them so uh, it'll run that chipper but not the I mean it'll run that tiller but not the chipper in the tiller at the same time it's just killing power to to one of them so the blue eddy guess I'm gonna give it a thumbs down I'm gonna give the anchor a thumbs down and the blue eddy a thumbs down and surprisingly the one that has the least amount of amps ran them with no problems and that was the dewalt power station of course dewalt's got its own little issues you can't hook it up to solar and charge it back up with the sun it's very limited on what you do and it's limited on the uh watt hours that it does both of these like i said are rated at 20 amps i was trying to pull 30 amps with both of them and 15 each on each, each one of these so it shouldn't have did it and they didn't um, look like blue eddy will just shut one of them down unless you continue working on the other or the anchor will just shut down completely um and then you seen what the dewalt did it just kept going so obviously it does a lot more than the, uh 15 amps that it's rated at i'm gonna try one more test for both of these i'm going to use the same surge protector that i use with the uh the dewalt because we know the Blue Eddy was killing power to one of the outlets. So first I'm gonna do the test with the anchor and then we're gonna do it with the Blue Eddy. And we're gonna see if it'll just supply power to that one outlet, we may be able to get the, the watch we need to run both of them. So we're gonna try that. We'll go with the anchor first. Got them both plugged back into the surge protector into one outlet. So let's give that a test. We got it plugged into the surge protector for the anchor. I'm about to turn the chipper on. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. No. Not gonna do it, not even that way, because it completely shut off. So uh once again, so yeah, the anchor is not gonna run both of these. And I'm not really surprised that it wouldn't. I was more surprised that the the Dewalt did. And now we're gonna plug this into the blue eddy. We're gonna see what happens here. So let's see. I think it's still on the AC. Yeah, lights on, on there. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get this to go. All right. So once again, the blue eddy is not going to run a boat. It is shutting power down to the chipper each time I turn the the tiller on so it's not going to run them both at the same time even on that surge protector i thought maybe i could trick it and have it all going into one all coming out one outlet didn't work still shutting off uh it's going to run one or the other but not both of them at the same time and same thing with the anchor you're going to be able to run one or the other but not both at the same time both of those are rated at 15 amps and the uh power stations are rated at 20 amps all right all right, so the Dewalt power station came out on top today. Um, the Dewalt is actually a great little tool if you got saws and stuff like that that you want to run. It does a great uh, job with that. A few issues I have with it is one is the battery capacity. You're not going to have the watt hours. Two is a modified sine wave. And I actually played around with it with a couple of uh, small heaters. And I tore the heaters up. They wouldn't turn on when I plugged it into the Dewalt and they never turned on again. So uh, modified sine wave isn't the best for like computers and stuff like that. And I wouldn't recommend getting the Dewalt to plug 
anything that's uh, sensitive like that in there. And that was just, just a little house heater, electric heater that I plugged two times. So I learned the hard way on that one. But uh, other than that, you've seen what it did out there with the, uh, the chipper and the little electric tiller. Ran it with no problems. The other two just couldn't do it. Uh, you know, like I said, the chipper and the tiller are both rated at 15 amps. I'm surprised the Dewalt did it. It is actually rated at 15 amps itself. You can see right there, and we doubled what it was rated at. I'm not sure how many watts it, everything was pulling. I know at one point I looked, I didn't record it, but I did see because the sun was so bad out there, I really couldn't see the screen. But on the uh, anchor, when the chipper was just running without anything in it, it was pulling 700 watts. So once you throw a stick in there, it's gonna start pulling more watts, I'm sure. And then, uh, but I'm not sure what, what kind of wattage I was trying to pull at the same time. The anchor can put out 2,400 watts at one time. The Dewalt is rated at only 1,800 watts, but it has a surge of 3,800 watts. And then the Blue Eddy AC Max has a surge of 4,000 watts and it's uh, it'll put out 2,000 watts at uh, one time. So uh, that's the difference there and something else you know, with the Dewalt, you're not going to have the option of expanding it with the battery expansions like you do with the other two. It's not going to be the modified sine wave and you can't hook it to solar. So you can't, there's only one way to uh, charge your backup and that's just through a regular wall outlet. So, uh, you know, main thing that I like about the others is running off of solar and charging them back, things back up from the sun without having, because when you don't have power, plugging the Dewalt into the wall isn't going to work. So that is the main reasons why I like the ones with the solar. So uh, I do have the, the AC, the Blue Eddy AC 200 Max and the Anchor 767. I have both of those on our webpage, which is going to be in the link. There will be a link in the comments below. And you get on there and shop around and see. AC, uh, Blue Eddy does make some larger larger power stations. So the next step up, I would believe, run those without any problems. They're, uh, it'll put out 3,000 watts. So what? Well, that's the AC 300. It'll it'll do that with no problem. And Anchor is about to come out with one more power station. Uh, I believe it's going to be this month in October, and it's going to uh, it's going to put out 6,000 watts. So it's going to be a lot bigger than what it currently is. And you know something like that would run uh, what we're trying to do today with no issues. But as you've seen in with the other video with the Anchor, I ran two. I ran my refrigerator, two air conditions pretty much every light in my house with no problems, but I was still staying, you know, within the amps of uh, the, the 20 amps of what the anchor's rated for. So I appreciate y'all uh, taking time out with me, watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk with y'all later.